the nanosphere that the nanotech services company was kind enough to lend us. Who can tell us what nanotechnology is? <laughs> Jeremy, go on. It's microscopic size technology. There are nanomotors, nano circuit boards, and nano gears. Hmm. Exactly. In the medical field, for example, scientists are developing nano doctors, tiny machines which will be able to travel through our bodies to combat disease. Scientific research, however, still has a long way to go. Are these robots capable of fighting pimples, cellulite, and things like that? <laughs> yes, they can, but the priority is for more serious illnesses. <laughs> and nanotechnology can't do a thing about stupidity. Poor sissy, what a shame. All right, now quiet down. So, this nanosphere is used to make microscopic devices. Strange, it hasn't been cleaned properly. There's gelatin inside. Looks like the greasy stuff Odd puts on his hair every day. Well, since you think you're so clever, Ulrich, why don't you take a sample for us to examine? The gelatin is used as a culture where nano devices can develop. It looks an awful lot like jam. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, but I just couldn't resist. I'll get you for that, Odd. This is a science class, children, not a comedy club. Wow, this nanotechnology is incredible. Now there's a field I'd like to work on in the future. I have enough trouble with normal-sized technology, much less microscopic. Hey, that looks good. Can I have some? Here. Uh, yeah. I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but taking advantage of my sweet tooth wasn't fair. I said I... Uh, ah! Ah! Uh -huh. ah! Ulrich, what is it? Ah, it's my head. I... Ah! Huh? Ulrich! Hey, Ulrich! What's going on around here? Ulrich passed out. Hmm. I'll take him to the infirmary. <sighs> he was just fine this morning. I know, it's really weird. Hmm. All right. Get some rest now, Ulrich. Hmm. What are you doing here? I wanted to find out how Ulrich was. Much better. He's asleep. Just a second, can I see him? I don't know, I, uh... You see, I'm his best friend. Um, all right, but not for too long. Uh, mm. oh. Oh. You're so handsome when you sleep. Oh. Where am I anyway? In the infirmary. You passed out. The infirmary? What infirmary? Uh, who am I? What's my name? Uh, uh, Ulrich. Ulrich? You must have hit your head when you fell down. Uh. And who are you? Me, I'm Sissy. 
Sissy! Your sweetheart! Uh, uh, oh, ah. <sighs> what? Well, Ulrich, when are you gonna admit you're mad about me, huh? You're kidding. I'm allergic to anyone who's conceited. Hmm. You're your own favorite fan club. My sweetheart? Well, our patient is awake, I see. Ulrich, how are you? Uh, uh, oh, much, much better. I'll take him to his room. Uh, oh. Are you sure you're all right? What is this, oh. an epidemic? Uh, come on, hurry. Hmm? Well, what do you know? See those three kids over there? Mm -hmm. They're your worst enemies. But why? Hmm. Hey, it's Ulrich. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Why is he with Sissy? Mm -hmm. You feeling better, good buddy? Who are you, huh? Leave me alone, creep. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, Ulrich, it's me. Odd. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Can't you see? He doesn't want to know you. So stay uh. away from us, understand? Huh? What's the matter with him? Mm. Oh. Ulrich, these are your good friends, Nicholas and Herb. Huh? Mm. He forgets things. You'd better remind him. Huh? Mm. I'm um, very thirsty. Mm. Huh? You know what would be good for you? A walk in the park. <sighs> Here, thanks. Mm. Huh. He didn't recognize us. It's crazy. Could be amnesia. Let's go see what the nurse says. Good idea. I've got to bring him back to his senses. Sissy and Ulrich? Can you believe that? Here, you need the energy. <clears throat> Ulrich, what do you feel knowing you're with the prettiest girl in school? Well, to be honest, uh, nothing. What did you say? What I mean is, you're really not my type. Hmm. Well, at least he's not completely out of his head yet. Hmm? Uh huh? Huh. Hey, what are you doing? Spying uh, on me? No, I was just... You're a liar! Oh, Rick, cut that out! We're buddies, remember? That's not what she says, so get out of here and make it fast! Okay, okay, don't get all worked up. <sighs> 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 Uh -huh. Ulrich, are you all right? Come on. Ulrich and Sissy, just the two of you. This could be the beginning of a big romance. Ta, oh, forget it. She's gonna be a pain in the neck the whole time. Come sit down. You need to rest. I'm sorry, but what I need is to be alone. Uh. <gasps> the answer is no. Can't you see I have no time? I don't know what's happening, but it's an epidemic. Man. Oh. We can stay and help you if you want. The best way to help is to stay out of my way. Maybe Odd had more luck. <sighs> no doubt about it. Oh, it's got amnesia. I thought he was going to slug me just now. It's a real epidemic, according to the nurse. But you don't just catch amnesia. It's not contagious. Something's really weird. We'd better ask a doctor about it. Too bad that nanodoctors don't exist yet. Nanodoctor? Now I understand. ugly creatures. What I was afraid of. They're nanoviruses. And Xana must have created them to attack memory cells. That means that it is contagious. Like all viruses, you can catch it from food, contact, sneezing. Soon the whole school will be infected, including us. A world without memory. Under Xana's control. Let's go to the factory fast. Aelita must be in danger on Lyoko. And Ulrich, we're gonna need him. No, Odd, it's Ulrich who needs our help. He'll only get well if we can deactivate the tower. Yumi's right. Besides, if he can't remember anything, he won't be much good to us. Mm-hmm. Huh? I 
Excuse me, is my room around here? What? Uh... Has everyone gone crazy around here? Third door on the right. Uh... uh... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know who you are, but it seems we're friends. Not a minute to lose. Uh, uh, huh? What's going on around here? Oh. Ah! Uh. Ulrich, I'm so glad you came. You really know how to cheer someone up. Alita. I haven't seen anything to worry about, either in the forest or in the desert area. Okay, beam yourself over to the mountains. I'll send Yumi and Odd to the glacier. The activated tower's gotta be somewhere. Okay, ready for the North Pole? We're on our way, Alita. Okay. Through the tunnel oh. in the park. Ten seconds to transfer time. Transfer on. Transfer Yumi. Scanner on. Scanner Yumi. Virtualization. Alita, anything new? No, I haven't been all over yet, but still, no vibrations. Be careful. Yumi and Odd are pretty far away. Committee. Don't panic, there's just one crab, but it means the activated tower can't be far. I'll warn Aelita. Oh, he's coming towards you, Yumi! Don't worry, he just wants to play hide-and-seek. Playful little beast. Is this? I can't tell you now. We've got an emergency. Look, I can't remember anything, but I know I have something important to do here. Tell me what it is. Well, uh, sure, why not? Once you're on Lyoko, you'll have to do something, amnesia or not. What's Lyoko? It's, uh, look. See that pillar behind you? You've got to slide mm -hmm. up one level. You'll see a few scanners. Get into one of them and just wait. Mm -hmm. You'll get all the answers you want. <sighs> Thank you. 
Guys, one, Alita's waiting on the other side of the glacier. And two? Two. Ulrich's on the way. Ulrich? I'll wait for him here. Better hurry. Transfer Ulrich. Scanner Ulrich. Virtualization. Welcome to the virtual world, Ulrich. What is this place? What are we here for? To fight, of course. To fight? I don't know how to fight. But of course you do. You just forgot, but I refresh your memory. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> okay, come on. Hello, Alida. I found the activated tower. We're almost there. Lead the way. my blows. Don't you have a weapon? I have a few arrows, but I'd rather save them for now. And I don't want to hurt you with them either. Oh yeah? No kidding. We're almost there. Yeah, it seems almost too easy. I have a funny feeling about this. I'm sick of always being right. Four against one. Well, it's better than five or six. Hang in there, girls. I'll try to send you reinforcements. First, let's get rid of two of them. Hurry! It's not gonna hold for long! <sighs> hey, you ought to save your strength. You're gonna need it. Why? Are there other levels? I like it here. It's a video game, but for real. Yeah, but now it's time to stop. Alita and you... We need you. Uh, huh? Who said that? Jeremy, come on! Hey, wait! We haven't finished the game. Uh, again? Yumi, be careful. You've only got a few life points left. Uh, yeah. Nice going, Yumi. One to go. Hurry, Yumi. The wall's not gonna last. There. I win the game. Yeah, but you beat an ally. What? Now that you know who your friends are, it's time to meet your enemies. Huh? Enemies? What enemies? They're crabs. Monsters created by Xana. Listen, I can't explain now. You, me, and Alita need our help. And right now. No! To get rid of them, you have to hit the thing on their shell that looks like an eye. Sounds easy enough. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Oh! Laser arrow! What happened to her? Nothing serious. We've got to protect Alita. I'll take care of it. It's good to see Ulrich with his memory back again. You're wrong. He's still got amnesia. Hmm? Huh? 
she's leaving? Uh, not exactly total recall. <laughs> Jeremy, I'm coming! <sighs> no, I'm on! <sighs> Here we go! Oh. Oh. Great guys, you're one heck of a team. Is that it? No other players? No, we can go home. The game's over. Huh? But how? Magic, watch. Return to the past now. Exactly. In the medical field, for example, scientists are developing nanodoctors, tiny machines which will be able to travel through our bodies to combat disease. Scientific research, however, still has a long way to go. Are these robots capable of fighting pimple cellulite and things like that? <laughs> yes, they can, but the priority is for more serious illnesses. <laughs> and nanotechnology can't do a thing about stupidity. Poor sissy, what a shame. <laughs> All right, now quiet down. This nanosphere is used to make microscopic devices. Strange, it hasn't been cleaned properly. There's gelatin inside. Looks like the greasy stuff Odd puts on his hair every day. Since you think you're clever, Ulrich, why don't you take a sample for us to examine? It's used as a culture where nano devices can develop. Uh, anyway, it looks an awful lot like jam. Let's try to cook it. Uh, you never can tell. Uh, What are you doing? Mm. How dare you destroy school equipment? I'll have to punish you severely for that, and it's going to be a punishment you won't forget. I hope not, Mrs. Hertz. I sure hope not. Uh, oh, oh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs>